Good day, everyone. Today, I'm going to discuss to you about normal probability distribution. So let's start with discussing about areas and probabilities under the normal curve. Okay. For instance, the given is find the area to the left of Z is equal to negative 1.69. So if we're going to have this one, we're going to start looking on our standard normal default. So meron po tayong Z equals negative 1.69. Tingnang maputi. So we have this one. Negative 1.6. Yung negative 1.6, dito mo siya tihahanapin. Ito ngayon siya. Negative 1.6. From that, yung 9 naman po, dito natin siya hahanapin. It's 0 0.09. So, ibig sabihin, yung dalawang yan, pagkoconnectahin natin, therefore, makikita po natin, ang area po niya ay ito po. 0 0.04551. So, therefore, we have 0 0.04551. But let's start with drawing this normal curve. So, we're going to have 0, 1, 2, 3, and negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Let's indicate negative 1.69. So, negative 1.69 is in between negative 1 and negative 2. So, it will fall here. Since it is left, it, it means na ang shaded part natin ay nasa left ng mismong line. So, therefore, the shaded part is here. Okay, now, the next part is writing the area that corresponds to z equals negative 1.69. Okay, z equals negative 1.69 corresponds to an area of 0 0.04551. Ito po siya. Okay, now, we have three rules. Unang rule, kapag left, below, less than, kokopyahin lang natin as is yung area na nakuha natin. Again, kapag left, below, less than, kokopyahin lang natin yung area na nakuha po natin. Pero kung ito ay greater than, above, or to the right, ibig sabihin po niyan, magkakaroon tayo ng formula na 1 minus yung area na nakuha natin. At kung ito naman po ay between, ibig sabihin, isusubtract natin yung dalawang area na nakuha po natin. Since our given is left, ibig sabihin, as is po siya. So therefore, we're going to have 0 0.04551. And then the final answer will be in percent. Imumove lang natin itong decimal point ng dalawang beses para makonvert siya into percent. So therefore, it will be 4.551%. So this is your final answer. Let's try another example. Find the area greater than C equals 2.08. Let's now take a look on this, our standard normal table, which is this one. Siyempre, doon tayo sa positive kasi positive yung given natin. So, hanapin ngayon natin ay 2.0 kasi yun po yung una at pangalawa. So, we have 2.0, this is 2.0. And then, yung 8. So, ibig sabihin 0 0.08. Ito po siya. So, pag pinag-meet po natin itong dalawa, so therefore, ito po siya. Pag-meetin po natin, therefore, ang ating area ay ito, 0.98124. But before that, let's start with the standard um, normal curve, rather. So let's draw the normal curve. We have 0, 1, 2, and 3. We have negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. So let's indicate C equals 2.08. Since this is 2.08, ito po ay between 2 and 3. So, since it is greater than, the shaded part will be to the right of the 2.08. So therefore, this is the shaded part. Okay. Now, after drawing the normal curve, we're going to indicate the area that corresponds to C equals 2.08. So we have C equals 2.08. And that area that corresponds to this is 0 0.98124. So again, we have three rules as is. 1 minus the area, and subtracting the 2 area. Now, since it is greater than, therefore, we're going to subtract 1 minus 0.98124. So, we're going to have 1 minus 0 0.98124. Why? Kasi po, ulitin ko, tatlo po ang rule natin. Kapag left, below, less than, as is. Pero kung greater than, above, to the right, ibig sabihin, 1 minus yung area na nakuha natin. Since 
it is greater than, magkakaroon tayo ng 1 minus 0.98124, which is equal to 0.01876. So, therefore, our final answer, moving the decimal places ng dalawa, or point ng dalawa, it will, it will be 1.876%. So, therefore, the area of the shaded part of our normal curve is 1.876%. Let's try another example. Find the area between z equals 3.05 and c is equal to 0 0.34. Let's start with drawing the normal curve. So by drawing the normal curve, we're going to have 3, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. So, since we have 3.05, it will be, it will fall here. And 0 0.34, it will be in between 0 and 1. So, it can be here. So, therefore, we're finding the area of the shaded region. So, the shaded region is this one. So, this is the shaded region. You need to fully shade this one. Okay. So, after that, after shading the re the this region or this part, we need to find the area of this shaded part. Okay, so let's now have this, the computation part. Okay, now let's take a look on the area of z is equal to 3.05. The area that corresponds to z equals 3.05, we're going to take a look on 3.0. Here is 3.0 and 5, which is this one. So, the area that corresponds to this one is connecting this one and this one. So, this is the area that corresponds to Z equals 3.05 and that is 0 0.99886. 0 0.99886. And for Z is equal to 0 0.34, the area that corresponds to that, we're going to take a look on 0 0.3. And this is 0 0.3. And 0 0.04 is this one. So, connecting this one and then take a look. at po siya. So, we have 0 0.63307. So, we have 0 0.63307. Since ito po ay between, again, uulitin ko ng paulit-ulit yung tatlong rule. Una, as is, pag left, below, less than. Pag greater than, right, at saka po above, 1 minus the area. Pero pag between, we're just simply subtracting the two areas na nakuha po natin. So, therefore, we're going to subtract 0 0.99886 minus 0 0.63307. And the answer is 0 0.36579. So, I'm going to write 0 0.99886 minus 0 0.63307 is equal to 0 0.36579. So, therefore, the final answer is we're going to move the decimal point ng dalawang beses. So, therefore, the final answer is 36.579%. So, the area of the shaded region on our normal curve is 36.579%. Okay. Now, let's proceed with computing probabilities and percentiles using standard normal table. Let's start with this. Let x be a normal random variable with mean equal 25 and standard deviation or sigma which is equal to 2. Find the probability of p of x less than 29. So the first thing that we're going to do is to identify the given value. So we're going to have the given. The given values are mu which is equal to 25 and sigma which is equal to 2. And we're going to take a look on p of x less than 29. So, therefore, we can now denote that x is equal to 29 and we're going to take a look with the value of c. So, that's the first step. The first step after knowing the given, we're going to start looking for the value of c that corresponds to x is equal to 29. So, to find z, just always remember we're going to use the formula x minus mu over sigma. Again, x minus mu over sigma. So, by substitution property, instead of writing x, we're going to write 29 minus, instead of writing mu, we're going to write the value of mu, which is equal to 25. 
divided by, instead of writing sigma, we have the value of sigma, which is equal to 2. So we're going to start subtracting 29 by 25, and that is 4. So we have C is equal to 4 divided by 2. So therefore, C is equal to 2. So we have the value of C, which is equal to 2. Now, let's change our given from P. Instead of writing X, you're going to write with Z. So Z, and then bring down less than, and then instead of writing 29, since we get 2, so we have P of Z less than 2. So thus it implies we're going to find the area that to the left of Z is equal to 2. So let's now draw the normal curve. We have 0, 1, 2, and 3, negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. So since it is 2, we're going to indicate first 2. And then since it is less than, we're going to shade the left part of Z equals 2. So therefore, we're going to shade this part. Okay, this part, yeah, yeah. Now, after shading this part, we're going to solve the, the given probability. So we're going to find the probability of C less than 2. So let's start knowing what is the value of or the area that corresponds to Z equals 2. The area that corresponds to C equals 2 or C equals 2.00 is 0 0.97725. After this, since it is less than, again, babalikan ulit natin yung ruling, tatlo ulit yon. Kapag less than, left, below, as is, greater than, above, right, 1 minus the area. And pag between, sino subtract po natin yung dalawang area. Since it is less than, as is po ito. So, since this is as is, we, our final answer is 0 0.97725 and then converting this to percentile, imumove lang natin to ng dalawang beses. So therefore, our final answer is 97.725%. So therefore, the final answer for our given problem is 97.725%. Let's try another example. Told me, the monthly income of 200 employees at Walter Mark Trust is distributed normally. Suppose the mean monthly income is 9,000 pesos and the standard deviation is 3,000 pesos. What percentage of the employees earn between 5,000 pesos to 15,000 pesos? First, we're going to write the given. So our given is mu is equal to 3, 000, um, 9,000 pesos and our sigma is equal to 3,000 pesos. This is the given. Now, so we're looking for P of x greater than 5,000 but less than 15,000. So let's now find the value of z. That's the first step. Find the value of z. So we have x is equal to 5,000 pesos and x is equal to 15,000 pesos. So we're going to find the value of z when x is equal to 5,000. So we have x, z is equal to x minus mu over sigma. So by substitution property, instead of writing x, we're going to write 5,000. Minus, instead of writing mu, we're going to write 9,000. Divided by sigma, which is 3,000. Now, 5,000 minus 9,000 is negative 4,000 divided by 3,000. So therefore, the value of our z is equal to negative 1.33. Okay. Now, for x is equal to 15,000, to find the value of z, we're going to apply the formula. So, by substitution property, it will be 15,000 minus 9,000 divided by 3,000. So, we have 15,000 minus 9,000 is 6,000 divided by 3,000. 6,000 divided by 3,000 is 2. So therefore, the value of C for X is equal to 15,000 is C is equal to 2. So let us now change this one by this. So we're taking a look for P of Z greater than negative 1.33 but less than 2. So we're going to find P of C greater than negative 1.33 but less than 2. Now, let's now start drawing the normal curve. I'm so sorry. I'm going to erase first this one so that we can draw the normal curve. 
we're going to have 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. We're going to draw the normal curve, and then we have negative 1.33, therefore it falls here in between negative 1 and negative 2. And for z equals 2, it will fall here. So now, since it is between, mag-shade lang, isa-shade lang natin yung pinaka-middle part. Okay. So, we're going to have fully shaded part of this one. Okay. Yeah, and this one. So, meaning, we're going to find the area of the shaded region in this normal curve. So, to find the area of this shaded region, we're going to find P of Z greater than negative 1.33 but less than 2. So, let's start with identifying the area that corresponds to Z equals negative 1.33. And area that corresponds to z equals to 2. For z equals negative 1.33, the area that corresponds to that is 0 0.09176. While for z equals 2, we have 0 0.97725 using the standard normal table. Now, since it is between, it implies that we need to subtract the two areas na nakuha po natin sa ating standard normal table. So, we need to subtract 0 0.97725 minus 0 0.09176, which is equal to 0 0.88549. Therefore, by converting the final answer into percentile, it will be moving the two, uh, decimal point to ng dalawang beses di pa ganun, pa ganun po. So, therefore, it will be 88.549. So, therefore, our final answer is 88.549%. So, that's all. Thank you, and I hope you've learned a lot for today's discussion. Um, just uh, don't forget to subscribe on our channel and hit the notification bell button para po updated kayo sa mga video tutorials na aming ina-upload. Thank you, and God bless everyone.